Unified flyweight champion. How does that feel? Yeah, it, excuse my language, but it's fucking badass. It's badass, man. I'm, I'm happy as fuck, and I worked my ass off for this. And it's just, I knew it was gonna come. It was just a matter of time. You knew coming in, Sonny Edwards was going to be a difficult test. How difficult was he tonight? He was a lot difficult. He was quick, a lot quicker than I thought, a lot smarter than I thought, but you saw what happened. You know, I think a lot of people coming into this fight thought it would be more of a chess match early on. This very quickly became a firefight in the middle of the ring. Did that surprise you? Yeah, um, uh, Sonny was moving a lot, a little bit in, in, the, in the beginning, but I feel like I just, you know, made him want to fight, and that's what happened, and he got caught. What kind of adjustments did you make over the course of this fight as we looked at the knockdown there? To be honest, I was confident the whole fight, but maybe a little too confident at times. That's what my corner told me, you know, just to stay, uh, stay level-headed, stay calm, keep, do, keep working on the game plan. And, I mean, it, came, it, fi it finally came to reality. I knew it was going to happen, like I said, but, man, it feels good to just actually hold these belts already. At what point did you feel in control of this fight? Honestly, maybe like round, after round three or four, I, I, I kind of felt him slowing down a bit. With all the shots you were landing during this fight, you were marking up his face pretty good. How surprised were you he was able to take that kind of punishment? Uh, no, nah, um, Sonny's a hell of a fighter. He's a champion for a reason, 20-0 for a reason. Um, he maybe he's not used to getting hit that much, but you know, I, I brought something out of him tonight that you know, he, couldn't, he couldn't handle. You've had a great two-year run moving up and down weight classes, but just watching this fight and watching your reaction, it feels like this means a little bit more to you, this win for whatever reason. Yeah, a lot of people were writing me off after my last two performances. Um, everyone was saying I was a hype job, this and that, talking a lot of trash on social media. So I know those people that were saying those are, you know, on my team now. So it is what it is, part of the sport. First fight in the aftermath of breaking that jaw. How'd the jaw hold up? It's great. I feel good. Ready to go again. So you've made it clear, speaking of going again, that you're done at 112 pounds. You want to move up to 115. You also made it clear that you want to get your old belt back, a belt that's now owned by Juan Francisco Estrada, who is here in the building tonight. Is that the fight you want next? Of course, I've been wanting that fight. Even when I was at 115, I, I was calling him out already, so why not make it happen now? Congratulations, Bam. Thank you. Ready to move over? To uh, give a huge shout out to Sonny Edwards, hell of a fighter, hell of a champion, very respectful. I know there was a lot of trash talk in the build-up, but I mean, it's all part of the sport, and I got nothing but love for this guy. All class there. Sonny, we'll talk to you. You are always your harshest critic. You're always transparent about your performances. Crowd's clearly appreciating what you did tonight. What went wrong for you out there? Uh, from about the second round, I couldn't really see up my left eye. It made it very hard to get away from his lead hand. I mean, Jesse's a hell of a fighter. I knew that before taking the fight. Um, I knew that during the fight, and I sure as hell know after the fight. I think it was a great fight, but yeah, the better man won today. Uh, no excuses, no regrets. Uh, grateful to be a part of such an event. Shout out to all the American fight fans. Glendale, Arizona, the hospitality I got showed this week. Yeah, it weren't my night tonight, but I'll definitely be back for sure. I think a lot of people expected you to move a little bit more, especially in those early rounds. You made the decision to stand and trade a lot more than we've seen you do in the past. What went into that decision? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't just keep moving and moving and moving. His feet was too good for that. His lead hand was too good for that. So I had to make him miss and try and land. I thought I had success in, you know, half of the rounds, but yeah, I was probably just getting outworked a little bit there, and after about the ninth, tenth round, I couldn't really see out of both eyes, so my, my corner and made the decision to pull me, and yeah, probably the right one. Do you agree with the decision to pull you? Um, you know, Grant's had me since I was 18 years old. He had me as an amateur, so look, if he's saying I can't let this keep going on, then I can't. I didn't feel like I was too hurt in there. It's just I couldn't see out my left or right eye, and I was taking shots that, you know, a more switched-on version of me would have got out of the way, but... No discredit to Jesse, hell of a fighter, hell of a champion. And yeah, like I said, I'll be back and we'll probably face each other again in the future. You, know, you made it clear, win or lose, this one fight would not define you. What do you want to do in the future? Oh, I've still got a lot, man. I've got nothing else other than boxing. Uh, maybe that makes the fight with me and Galau a little bit closer now. Um, that's a massive fight for me and Britain. But yeah, look, Eddie's behind me. He's got the, uh, he's got the game plan. I'll fight anyone. You see, with me, it doesn't matter win, lose, or draw. I want the biggest fights, the biggest events. I was uh, grateful, like I said, to be part of such an event. Uh, big congratulations to Jesse. He's deserved a champion tonight. Appreciate the performance, Sonny. No, oh, thank you. Eddie, quickly turn to you. You've promoted a number of big Bam Rodriguez fights. Let's you bring Bam back in here. A number of big fights. What would you think of this one? I mean, firstly, we, we really need to thank Bam and Sonny Edwards for giving boxing exactly what he needs. 
the best be the best. Two undefeated fighters risking it all, risking their belts. And Sonny Edwards showed so much heart, but what you saw tonight was a pound for pound great performance. I've been watching boxing for nearly 30 years. Up close, that was one of the best performances I've ever seen. This kid is super special. Super special, a young man, extremely humble. Robert Garcia done a great job. Honestly, I feel like a lucky man to be able to witness that tonight. There's lots of things he can do. He can become undisputed at 112 if he wants to move to 115, of course. Juan Francisco Estrada's here, Chocolatito, I know he's with Mr. Honda as well, but honestly, you talk about pound for pound great fighters, sometimes the lower divisions don't get the credit they deserve, but these two came together to unearth a superstar in Bam Rodriguez. Incredible performance, and, and as I said, thank you to both, but tonight belongs to this man, the unified world champion, special pound for pound fighter. He wants a fight against Juan Francisco Estrada, can you make that happen next year? For sure, Estrada's a huge star, you know, he's coming towards the back end of his career. This guy's going to be around for a long, long time. You know, flyweight, super flyweight. I believe he's going to go to Bantam, whatever Robert says, but that's an, a tremendous matchup, Estrada against Bam. And, um, you know, like I said, tonight, that pound for pound list, you know, that one that everybody talks about, give me your top 10 pound for pound. He must go in there and, and in nice and deep, special fighter. Bam, we'll give you the last word. You've been on kind of the fringes of those pound for pound lists for some time now. Do you think you belong on one now? Definitely, top 10. You know, I was giving a lot of respect to the top 10 at first, but this win right here, uh, stopping Sonny Edwards the way I did, I belong in that top 10 now. All right, congratulations, Bam. We'll see you again soon. Thank you, thank you.